Today, I'm going to be giving you nine different free vector-based illustration resources for your next design project. Before we begin, I wanted to mention this video sponsor, Skillshare.com, which is an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. So whether you want to fuel your curiosity, your creativity, or even your career, Skillshare is the perfect place to do just that. For instance, you're about to watch my illustrations video, but you could start creating your own by watching the tons of illustration courses at Skillshare. Skillshare is also super affordable with an annual subscription of being less than 10 bucks a month. But if you're one of the first 500 people to click on the link here in the description in YouTube, then you get the first two months 100% free. So join up. Hey everyone, Gary Simon of course, Cetro.com. So today I'm gonna give you nine different resources that I personally curated that will help you out in your next UI slash landing page design. So they're really just two categories. That is just basic illustrations for general purposes and also icons because we're always finding icons in our UI designs. So you may be wondering, shouldn't I be doing everything from scratch? Well, if you're a great UI designer, that doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna be a great illustration-based designer. They're two different fields. And if you don't have much experience in terms of creating good illustrations, then I would personally err on the side of caution and use one of these resources and then just try to modify them and make them your own. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in a second. But first, before we begin, which resources do you use for pre-made graphics? That is today's question. And only mention resor resources that I haven't as a part of my, you know, nine resource list. So these, the, the resources that I put out, you know, there's a ton. There's a lot that I chose specifically not to mention because there's a lot of overlap between them. So let me know in the comment here, uh, section of YouTube, and let's get started. All right, so before we begin, I'm here in Illustrator, and I just wanted to show you uh, something that I did real quickly. And I think this is a general rule that I think that everybody who's about to use any of the nine resources um, that I'm about to mention should really follow. So if you're gonna be using any of these resources where obviously somebody already designed them, some sort of asset uh, like this, uh, try to modify them and make them your own as much as possible. So because everything I'm, I'm about to cover is vector-based, uh, you can take those assets, open them up in Adobe Illustrator, and you'll have full control to be able to, uh, to adjust the colors and also even add other things as well. So this is the before one, and this is coming from Undraw, which is gonna be the first resource that I, I'm about to showcase. And I simply just made it my own based on maybe some fictional project or something. Uh, you wanna adjust the colors at the very least. And um, you can see, I also took some different other uh, some other undraw assets like these little flowers, these trendy flowers, uh, vegetation things, and I just placed them in the scene as well. So try to make them unique as possible. All right, so let's go ahead. So the very first resource, and this is the the biggest resource I would say uh, in my mind. It has it, it, it's a never ending supply of illustrations. I have no clue how many there are but there is an insane amount. I couldn't find the end of the, the scrolling list where it's just these illustrations kept coming up. Uh, so if you go click on illustrations and you scroll down, you won't find the end of the page. I, I mean, I sat here for a couple minutes, I think, and I couldn't find the end of the page. So there is just a massive amount of these illustrations. And of course, because they're vector, you can download them and you can piece together and create your own sort of scene. Uh, so they're all kind of styled in the same manner, obviously the same color theme, but of course it's all adjustable because it's vector. So you can, you can do a search as well. So if we type in success, you're gonna see certain illustrations that perhaps emulate the idea of success. So this is an awesome resource that you can use. And again, the general rule of thumb, try to make them your own, modify them somehow in some way, shape or form. All right, so the next one is draw kit. All right, so if we scroll down, you see free illustrations, click that. And there's just a few here, nowhere near as many as undraw, but as you can see, they're all designed pretty nice and you know, it has those trendy people, that little trendy, weird, abstract people look that's going on. So check that one out as well. Uh, we also have from icons8.com, which is a very popular site uh, for icons, but we also have, if you go to forward slash 
slash ouch, you have free illustrations here. So these are all illustrations, um, like to say like success, for instance. Some of them are really unique. And unless you have a project that really speaks to this sort of style, I would probably stay away from these ones. Uh, but still, there's some that are a little bit more generalized like this that you can perhaps easily modify to try to make your own. Also, we have this individual, Lucas. So these are all coming from a single person and they were all designed quite well. Uh, so that's why, and there's quite a bit of them too, um, for, for a single person to offer all these free illustrations. Because uh, a lot of time goes into these, as you could tell. There's a lot of icon-based illustrations, but you know there are some other ones that are just general graphics, gr graphic illustrations as well. So check that out. Humans, this is a project that I mentioned uh, a couple other times on the channel, but you can get the library here. It's a Dropbox. So if you uh, click on Flat Assets, for instance, you can see there's a lot here, and it's just basically people in different positions, and there's a ton of them, and they're all in that little trendy style as well. Um, and then the next couple that I'm going to show uh, are primarily for icons, but you can also search for just general illustrations. So if we choose vectors on this one at freepick.com, and we type in... I don't know, success for instance. We'll see that we have a lot of general purpose ones. Uh, when it comes to illustrations, this one looks to be pretty nice down here in terms of the colors and being modern. But sometimes you will see that there's there's some that are quite outdated as well in you know kind of clip arty. And that's something I would definitely avoid. But still you could possibly find something depending on your needs. And then flaticon.com and this is purely just for icons. And of course, I'm including some icon resources here just because, you know, if we're talking about landing page design and illustrations, usually you'll have icons somewhere in most landing pages. Um, so again, if we type in success, for instance, we have 2,600 different icons that are based on success. And you could filter these, of course, uh, by making sure, you know, maybe it's only showing free. Same thing with uh, iconfinder.com. Uh, I personally use Icon Finder when it comes to finding illustrations uh, and icons when I, I don't really have the time um, to to want to create icons from scratch. And then also there's an, the last one I'm going to mention. And again, there are so many different other resources that I'm not mentioning, uh, but really I don't want to get too redundant with these. Um, these icons are from the nounproject.com. So if I type in success, you're going to see they're all monochromatic, as you can see. So you can either just stick to the monochromatic theme, and of course, if they're vector, you'll be able to change the colors very easily. And so the one that I really think is uh, just the most uh, beneficial for people, and especially on this list being the number one winner, uh, is this undraw.co. I, again, I just can't, I can't believe how many illustrations they have. And the fact that it has a search allows you to quickly and easily get in there and you know, again, if you're somebody who is primarily just a UI designer and you ha don't have much graphic design uh, experience under your belt, and you don't want to try to to do, to do your own illustrations when you're not very good, I definitely suggest using one of these resources, especially Undraw, and, and and do as much as you can to make them unique. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that list. Again, answer today's question, which is which resources do you use for pre-made graphics, and only mention ones that I did not yet mention that are a part of this list right here. All right, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.